Let's bless his holy name that is not be compared to him. Let's magnify him for his good and his time. And his mercy will endure forever. Thank you for in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's thank him because his faithfulness, his faithfulness is good. His faithfulness endure forever. Our God is good, our God is kind. Let's give him praise this morning. Let's give him honor this morning. Let's give him adorations. Let's magnify him for that which you know he has been doing in our life. Let's thank him for what he's been doing in our life and what you know he's doing in our life right now. Let's give him praise. Let's give him honor. Let's give him glory. Let's give him adorations. Let's magnify him for his faithfulness and his loveliness. Let's thank him for his goodness. 
Let's thank him for the great thing he has been doing in our lives. Thank him for your very life and how he has been good to you. Thank him, brethren, and magnify his holy name. Give him praise and give him glory. Let's give him praise, let's give him glory. Let's give him praise and give him glory. Uh, God is worthy to be praised in the mighty name of Jesus. It's worthy to be praised in Jesus' mighty name. Let's serve his name in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I magnify your holy name. Glory to you forever in Jesus' mighty name. Let's give him honor. Let's give him glory. Let's give him adorations. Let's magnify him. Let's magnify him. Let's praise him. He's worthy to be praised. Glory to his name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to his name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. How do we say blessed be your name? We appreciate your goodness. We thank for your mercy. Oh, blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you are wonderful. Glory to his name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to his name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we say blessed be your name. Thank you for the love you have for us. For the love, not just for us, for our children and for our loved ones. Thank you for your love in our heart as well. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for all this you are doing for us. We say they are wonderful and they are marvelous. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Please lift your reverence unto him and glorify his name. Let's thank him for his love and his kindness. Let's thank him for his, for his, for his mercy that we have received. It is his mercy that is keeping us all our life. Glorify him for his mercy you have received. Glorify him for the peace you have received, for the grace you have received. Giving praise, giving glory in the mighty name of Jesus. I will say thank you very much. Blessed be your name. Thank you for the children. Thank you for the adults. Thank you for the men. Thank you for the women. For all our boys and girls, we say thank you. For our young woman, we say thank you. For our young adults, we say thank you. Thank you for the married and your married. Thank you for everyone you have blessed our life with. Glory to your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to your name in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless you, Father. We honor you, Father. We ascribe all glory to you. We ascribe all honor to you. We ascribe all adoration to you. We say thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your love in our hearts. Thank you for how you'll be helping us. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The psalmist was thanking God. He said, thank you for not allowing me to fall to the hand of my enemies. Can you say that I thank God you didn't allow me to fall to the hand of my enemies? The enemy did not rejoice over me. And he didn't say, where is your God? Thank you because you didn't allow this to happen. We say, blessed be your name, because you didn't allow the enemy to rejoice over us. And ask, where is our God? We say, thank you, Holy Spirit. We say, thank you, Holy Spirit. Because they allowed the enemy to prevail or to rejoice over us. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You didn't allow the enemy to prosper in their plan. You frustrated the devices of the enemy that they might not be able to perform their enterprise. Thank you, because all the devices of the enemy you have portrayed so much they can't perform their enterprise. We say thank you, Holy Spirit. We say thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessed be your name in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, because you didn't allow the enemy to prosper in our lives and in our families. Your strength has been our strength. Your grace has been our grace. Your mercy has been enough for us. We say thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. You didn't allow the enemy to laugh over us. You didn't allow the wicked to laugh over us. You didn't allow us to be mocked by our enemies. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We thank God because our offices are not empty. The Bible says, let his office take. Let another man take his bishopry. That scripture is not coming to pass in our life. Our places in the life of our children are not being taken by under. Our places in our homes are not being taken by under. Our places in our working places and the other places that God has placed us, even in the life of our siblings, our places are not being empty 
no one is taking over our things. I even fighting over it and say, this one is mine, this one is mine. God has now allowed that to happen in our lives. Brethren can only be God. And you say, I thank God, you didn't allow the enemy to rejoice over me. And my place is not empty in the life of my loved one. Thank you because it has been you in my life this far. Oh, thank God, my place is not empty. My office is not empty. They are, my share is not empty. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You didn't allow the enemy to occupy my space and to declare me useless, to declare me unuseful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm not useless. I'm not unuseful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My office is not empty. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My strength is still intact. My energy is at intact. My head is intact. My life is intact. Thank you, because it can only be you. Blessed be your name in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Then you will say, for that, that which I have done in my life, and he that you have brought me, I know you have not brought me this far to disgrace me. I know you are taking me to a place of destiny. I will get there in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray that prayer for yourself. I thank you because I know you have brought me this far to take me to a place of destiny, to take me to a place of purpose, to take me to a place of rest, to take me to a place of comfort, to take a place, to take me to a place where I will say, indeed, this is God. I will get there in the mighty name of Jesus. I will get there in the mighty name of Jesus. I will get there in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not fall by the wayside in the mighty name of Jesus. The enemy will not capture me. The enemy will not take over me. I will not fall by the wayside in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not perish on the wayside in Jesus' mighty name. I will not perish on the way. I will get to the dest my destiny. I will get to the purpose of my life. I will get to where God is taking me to in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not fall by the wayside. I will get to where God is taking me to in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I will not only get there, I will get there and find rest, comfort, waiting for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Stay further in the mighty name of Jesus. Where you are taking me to, I will get there and find rest in Jesus' mighty name. Comfort shall be mine in the mighty name of Jesus. Comfort and rest shall be mine in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not get there and be there and be disquiet. I will not get there and be disturbed. I will not get there and be confused. I will get to your way, to your plan, to your purpose for me, to your mind for me, and find rest in the mighty name of Jesus. And find comfort in the mighty name of Jesus. Your mind for me in my marriage, your mind for me in my work, your mind for me in my in ministry, your mind for me as a man or as a woman. Your mind for me for being a married man. Your mind for me for having something I'm doing, a work I'm doing. Whatever your mind is for me, I will fulfill them in rest in the mighty name of Jesus. I will do your way and fulfill your way in joy and in rest in the mighty name of Jesus. I will rejoice in them in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The Bible said the joy of the Lord is their strength. A joy is not attached to money or whatever gain that is made. The joy that comes from the Lord himself, that joy will be yours and be mine in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say to yourself, I will have joy in Jesus' mighty name. I will, have joy I will relieve the rest of this month in joy in the mighty name of Jesus. The rest of this year in joy. As a matter of fact, the rest of my life in joy in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare the, the joy of the Lord is my strength. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will live my life in joy. This month shall be joy for me. The rest of this month shall be joy for me. I will march in power and in glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the rest of this year, this year of the Holy Spirit, is a year of joy for me in the mighty name of Jesus. And for the remaining of my life, I will have joy. And joy completely in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. For adventure, some demons are asking you, how is that possible to live a whole year and rest of your life in joy? That's how you remind the enemy that the Lord has said it, that your, my joy is your strength. Mm -hmm. That's why this kind of joy has nothing to do with acquisition. Oh, I build a house, I'm happy. That is happiness. 
not the kind of joy we're talking about now. Oh, I, I get back to a new baby, I rejoice. Oh, I've just bought a new car, brother, come and laugh with me. Those are good and wonderful. But that's the kind of joy that God is promising here. It's a joy that has nothing to do with what is happening around you, what you are able to get or what you are not getting. It has nothing to do with others. It's a joy that God himself puts in the heart of men. And that's why Jesus said, out of your belly shall flow out, out of your heart, your being, shall flow out rivers of living water. That's the joy that the Holy Spirit gives. The Bible says, when you, this is how you know that there is Holy Spirit in your life, righteousness, peace, and joy. These are the gates of the Holy Ghost. Wherever the Holy Ghost is, those three must be there. And that's why the devil will do everything demonically possible to make sure, righteous wise, we are, not, we are not making it, we are not doing well. And as long as in righteousness, we are not right with God, it will be very difficult to have peace of mind, to have peace of soul, to have peace in your spirit. As long as your way is not right with God, the Bible says, as a, when a man's way is right with God, it makes even his enemy to be at peace with him. All the fears, all the trouble, all the concern, all the worries, all the anxiety, all the troubles here and there that occupy our mind and our spirit, that our mind is always up. I, we are never at rest and never at peace. Even inside of us, outside it might look fine and look good. But inside, you know, all are not well. You know why? Because sometimes the devil has corner us in many places, putting our hands into many things that we ought to put our hand. And because sin is there, righteousness is not there. And once there is still righteousness, there cannot be peace in the mind. The Bible says, Jesus Christ, we, God, we, we, we bind your heart and your mind. We bind it together in peace through Christ Jesus. There are so much the passes for man understanding wherever there is righteousness of Jesus Christ, there is peace. And when there is peace, there will be joy. The three go hand in hand. And because our righteousness is not our self majorly, it's of the Holy Spirit of God. The Bible says Jesus Christ is our righteousness. If we agree with that and we believe in that, if we give all the strength to do our part, if you believe that your righteousness is not yourself, but it's written, whatever I do is like a pretty rag, even at my best. But if I believe that it's righteousness, it's my righteousness. Then the power, the grace, the strength to do my part it will give me. And that's why I know I will have peace and I will have joy. So I want to pray that God, let my heart be full of joy. And the peace that only goes alone can give in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let my heart be full of joy. And the peace that only goes alone can give in the mighty name of Jesus. Fill my heart with joy. Fill my heart with peace. That has nothing to do with what is happening around me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fill my heart with peace and joy. And the righteousness that is of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. The strength and the power to do my part I receive in Jesus' mighty name. The strength and the power to avoid it, to avoid iniquity I receive in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my heart be filled with joy in Jesus' mighty name. Let my heart be filled with peace in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. When there's no peace of mind and there's no joy in the heart of a woman, she can never give her husband peace. No man can have, can have joy in her. When there's no peace and joy in the heart of a man, no woman can have joy in him. Let him give the woman the whole money in the world. She will not still be happy. That's the truth. Because joy is something that you cannot buy with money or with gifts. Is a gift of the Holy Spirit. And sometimes it's not about how you strive or you even make up your mind to do it. It's a gift of God. And you can receive that gift this morning. When I say the gift of God, I can tell you from all my heart that it's indeed is a gift of God. Righteousness, peace, and joy. They are gift of the Holy Spirit. If you have it, your life is better for it. Say for that, and that my life is a gift of the Holy Spirit this morning. Gift of righteousness. Gate of peace, gate of joy. If you have peace in your mind, you will fall sick less. You will rarely go to falling sick. It has peace in your heart. Your body will adjust to hurt. It has peace in your heart. All this today, sickness to that, tomorrow, sickness, tomorrow, pain, 
Not that you've lost in the way in my heart does, but on a continual basis, it will be difficult because there's peace in your heart. Lord, bless me the gate of the Holy Spirit, the gate of righteousness, the gate of peace, and the gate of joy in the mighty name of Jesus. So much, so much that my, my, my body will adjust to health and to life in the mighty name of Jesus. So much, so much that my body, my spirit will adjust. My soul will adjust to health and to life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, bless my heart, bless my spirit, bless my soul with peace that only you can give in Jesus' mighty name and with joy and rest that only you can give in the mighty name of Jesus. With joy and rest only you can give in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. There's nothing that, that fall down the humanity of man, the human system of the man, that not having joy and peace in the heart. And once those is not there, it is easy for sickness to attack. When there's peace and joy in your mind, you will live a healthy and beautiful life. God will bless you with peace and with joy and with righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus. They are gift of the Holy Spirit. You will receive it effortlessly. And they will live with you and you will live with them effortlessly in the mighty name of Jesus. That will be your lot in Jesus' mighty name. I say that will be your lot in the mighty name of Jesus. You need to say, Father, this morning, give me all trance in Jesus' mighty name. As I look out to you, give me all trance in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me pray your mind. Let me pray your will for me and for my household in the mighty name of Jesus. And for this brethren praying with me, Lord, give me all trance this morning in Jesus' mighty name. Inspire your will to my heart and to your mind in Jesus' mighty name. Inspire your will to my heart and to your mind in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. If you are living in Nigeria, you to pray for yourself. And even you may live, you can also pray for yourself in your own world. But if you are living in Nigeria particularly, pray for yourself. That this coming weekend, this weekend of this week, and the weekend after, God will give us peace in Jesus' mighty name. Mm-hmm. And pray for your state in particular, that there will be peace in your state, in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and say that in Jesus' mighty name. There will be peace in my heart, and in my heart, and in my, in my state, in the mighty name of Jesus. I will have peace. I will enjoy peace in the mighty name of Jesus. I will have peace. I will enjoy peace in Jesus' mighty name. I will have peace. I will enjoy peace in the mighty name of Jesus. I will have peace. I will enjoy peace in Jesus' mighty name. I will have peace and I will enjoy peace this weekend and the weekend that is to come in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Politicians and their followers, sometimes they can be very demonic. As I want you, please be mindful of what you say in the public. I know you have those you are supporting, possibly. I know you have those you are you are rooting for, possibly. Even though I've told us many times that you should always root for the mind of God and the will of God be done. But whoever you are rooting for, please be mindful of what you say in the public. So when people are out there, they can kill anything. Even if they fly, they fly against their opponents, they will kill it. So be mindful of what you see in the public. God will preserve our life. Amen. He will see beyond this weekend in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I'm going to pray for your in the mighty name of Jesus. I have a peace in my community in Jesus' mighty name. I decree because I am in this community that will not be political riot, there will not be political, political protest, that will not be killing, everything go well and go right in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything go and go right in Jesus' mighty name. And if you are other country of the world, pray, pray for yourself. That God will give your country peace in Jesus' mighty name. That peace will reign in your country in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We come to, to pray for the program and the, the, and the work we are doing by down here. But God's good, we are already working on the floor. We do the flooring very soon before the weekend. We want to pray that God will give us a successful takeoff. We are, already, we are taken up by May 13 by God's grace with the family program we are doing here. And by the Sunday, May 14, the church will take off proper himself, itself. We have a lot of program in place to take place between that weekend of May 13 and 14. I want to pray for us that God will make that day successful in the mighty name of Jesus. Later, we put the hand B on the group, you will see it. So you can be praying with us today and other days. That that May 14 and 13, God will sanctify it for a successful takeoff in the mighty name of Jesus. 
that the purpose of God for this vision shall be successfully established in Jesus' mighty name, that this program will take off to the glory of God on May 13 and May 14. Everything that we need to put in place, uh, from the flooring to fixing equipment, fixing the, 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 the wall of the place, everything that we need to put in place to make the place conducive and comfortable. Everything that we need to put in place security-wise and everything that we need to put in place monetary-wise, everyone will provide in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone will provide in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall have a successful establishment of the vision and the purpose in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. One of our sisters in Lagos is a nurse, a senior matron. God bless her for me in Jesus' mighty name. And God bless all our medical people in Jesus' mighty name. She was saying that if I don't mind, they would like to stage a, a medical, a free medical for people around there as a way of beginning in that place. And I'm trying to that dream. And I hope God will help us with that. It will require money and require personnel. Herself is offering herself. You are trusting God to be able to God will maybe work it out for her in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Another good they can half year, we're going to rally around with the rally around to see if that can work out. I want to pray that everything like that, if you just imagine if you do a, med a free medical for people around that place, it will go a long way to affect the community. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, a church is not affecting its community, it's a fraud. It's a money, making, it's a business, and it's a fraud. And we'll never be that in Jesus' mighty name. Mm -hmm. We are not going to be a business, business center. In a, where we go as put out as a school very close to us, just then we share work, practically share work. The school that's a school, we share, but those ones that are around, around here, I invite you that day, May 13 and 14. If you are in Badon, Lagos, I invite you, please. Or if you're in Lonnie or Shugbo, very close, May 13 and 14, I invite you. I'd be glad to see you here. That we as a school, we share boundary together. And one of the people that are working with us here, because God has already given us people that are working with us here. And uh, the man said he just went and looked at the school from the behind. And he saw plenty of children sitting on the ground. I felt ashamed. It's a public school. I said, are there no local there? I said, there are two more than the local one, and there are not enough local to start with. Children sitting on the ground, learning. Oh, I felt bad. I don't see any of my biological children going through that. I don't see any of our children here going through that. So I told him, I said, why don't we fish here for them? If God provides us with money and we can do that. He said, we are starting in the community with them. They are our neighbors. We can build a relationship with them on that. And uh, the community too, it's a community school to start with. The community itself is one that's funding the school. The, yesterday I was there, they were facing some light. said the place is always dark in the night. And some boys come there to come and do some bad, bad things. So they are facing light, street light, powered by sun. The community, they're even charging us that you should pay 30,000 naira for bringing short to the place. Initially, I was even arguing with them, but they now said the money is not for them. That is to take care of the community, most importantly, the school. And why I was there, the same men that came to ask for the money, 30,000 naira for us, as a, a, I call it a, a, a visiting, I mean, as an entrance fee to the community. That's what I just call it myself. The men that came to ask for that money on behalf of the community, I saw them facing the street lights in this school myself. So I say I will gladly pay. Even they ask more than that, I will gladly pay that money. If that can affect that school, it's enough. And I told the man that's working with us, I said, God helping us, even if we can afford to buy some furniture and get to the school, we will surely do. That is how a church should be. Any church is not affecting its community, it's a fraud. It's a business center. Even as a, as a, as a, as a, as a group, if by the tax we have received since the beginning of this group, and the morning God has blessed us with, he said not to build a church, not even to, to rent a, a land as we are renting, renting and building a temporary place. We can buy a land, build a church for one year has entered this ministry. But I bet we don't have anything in our port because as the coming is going out, blessing people. God forbid that I build a ministry or a church that is just to gather money and have in the bank. It, it won't happen. Any church or ministry is not affecting the church people around them. It's a fraud. And we never be a fraud in Jesus' mighty name. Personally, I will not be a part of it. So I have to pray that the purpose of God to fulfill, to do that, one of the purpose to affect the community. 
So I'll try this medical team, like my God's grace, we are going to do it. We got to provide the money to hire the person, to bring the person in. I'm talking to somebody, or I've talked to somebody already that I know very well that can possibly come and help us as a doctor free of charge in the bottom here. And I mean, they can help us, I'm going to talk to them. But all this is to have a successful takeoff and to be an impact in the society God has put us. Say for that, all this and many more, you will do in the mighty name of Jesus. All this, where as long as soon as we get there, that community will know we are there. They will feel us for the better in the mighty name of Jesus. Your name be glorified by reason of what we are going to be doing. Parents will come to us to come and be praying for their children and their family in the mighty name of Jesus. You will use us to touch life and to touch people and to touch family, to touch children. By reason of what we do in that place, destiny shall be changed. Destiny shall be made better. Those children sitting on the chair on the ground, some of them we put them on shares. It might not be able to help all, but as many as you can help, we put them into shares. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please help of our Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Please pray the prayer for us. We put on the on the page later when the dates and the, the flyer so that you can be following us in your own way and know when we are going to start. A lot has to be done to make the place ready for us. But we are trusting God, it will be ready by the full May in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Say better, amen. amen. By this, you can go to do the flooring. Many things are still coming in. I'm not even talking about share yet. I know that when the time comes, God will bring those one in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Pray for yourself once again that God please make me an impact amen. in the community amen. you have put me in the mighty name of Jesus. Either spiritual community or physical community, make me an impact in the mighty name of Jesus. Make me an impact in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me have impact where you have put me in Jesus' mighty name. In my family, I will have impact. In my workplace, I will have impact. In my community, I will have impact. In my church, I will have impact. In the fellowship where you have put me, I will have impact. Even in telepathy, I will have impact in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, help me by your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. But I will say thank you. Hallelujah to your name forever in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank God that it's not like unto you. Be praised and be glorified in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Lord, that we should know you are doing in our life are permanent in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. As we quickly go through your word and pray, please bless us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Lord, the benefit of us enjoying your grace is that may be an impact to our community. That will be us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Nothing will distract us. No sickness, no man, no woman will distract us in Jesus' mighty name. And your name will be glorified in our lives. That you are doing by now here, you will perfect it to the glory of your name and to the benefit of the family that are coming and to our own benefit as well that are coming to meet in Jesus' mighty name. All of us bring pain, pain, pain all over the world. Our family have been blessed for it in Jesus' mighty name. As we are blessing family and children, our family too and children are blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. What is written is that water shall be water also. As we are watching other people's life, we shall be water as well in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Act 1, verse 8, Act 1, verse 8, quickly. He said, But you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and to the uttermost part of the earth. At the beginning, we discovered the Holy Spirit coming upon us as a free gift of God. And every believer is entitled to that. As a matter of fact, the Bible says in Romans, in Romans that if you have not received the Spirit of God, you are not part of Him. That we are believers in Jesus Christ, make us an authentic member of Jesus Christ by the raising of His Holy Spirit. Just as my hand, my leg, my head, my other part of my body are part of me. Because there's a spirit in me binding us together as one. That spirit that God inspired into the body and the body become a living soul. When that spirit leaves the body, the whole system disgenerates. That's how you say somebody died, the spirit leaves, the body drops, and the hand will disappear in, in, in times. The leg will go its way, intestine, head, everything will go their different ways. And the body, the thing that binds together is no longer there. But as long as the spirit is in the man, it binds him together as one. 
That's how Jesus Christ said, if you don't have my spirit, you are not part of me because what is binding you to me if your my spirit is not in you. That's what it simply means because we are a member of his body. And if his body is one and we are part of that body, we automatically carry the spirit of God. And that's the word you should know as a person. Don't let the devil tell you that you don't carry the spirit of God because you're not speaking in tongues or because you are not um, um, raising the dead or you are not uh, telling the blind to see. Mm -mm. God bless you, you get to that level in Jesus' mighty name. But that doesn't remove the fact that you are a daughter or a son of God. As many that believe in, to then give you power. That's what is, that, is, that is something I woke up with, with this morning. To then the believers given he power to become the sons and daughters of the Lord. To then the believers given he power to become the sons and daughters of our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. O Sana. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. O Sana. Glory be to God. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you are an automatic member of his body. If you come and see, you know how to bring his people together. If a hand is spinning you, will you cut it off? No. You will find a way to heal the hand. And that's why if a believer comes in, seeing, there's always a room for forgiveness. Because it won't cut you off. You will forgive it when you are coming. If you get to a point and say, I don't longer want to, I cut you off. Then that's a very dangerous point. But as long as you are alive, there's always room to come back to him. So he gave us the power. He assured us we have his Holy Spirit because we are a member of his body. He now said the power, the, with that spirit, we have power. Just as the spirit is in me, I have the power to talk. To move around, to move this body anywhere I go. That's the power in me, by reason of the Spirit in me. The same way, because the Spirit of God is in you, there's a power in you that gives you the ability to move and to do the will of God and to do whatever God has to do, to pray and to serve Him and to watch over your family. And with that Spirit, because that power is in you, make you a witness of the fact that there is something in you. Now, the witness of the fact that I carry the Spirit of God in me is that I'm alive and walking. If I'm dead and I become a, I no longer a witness to that fact. So therefore, the witness of the truth that you carry the spirit of God and a power is in you is that you are like showing forth his praise wherever you may go to. And God showing forth himself in you as well. And I said, both in Jerusalem and in Lord Judea and in Samaria, there's a progressive progress there. In Samaria and Ottoman part of the earth. Which me, God did not want us to be stagnant. That's what we discussed yesterday. That it should be continuous. The fire must be burning. The fire must not go down. And why is God interested in the fire not going down? It's because God is a God of perpetuity. God is a God that wants to continue things. God's power is perpetual. God's strength is perpetual. Not only in the life of those that have them, but in their generations. If God is only interested in me, he's not interested in my, he's not interested in my wife, he's not interested in my children, he's not interested in my family, then he's not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He said, he boldly said to himself, he said, I'm not the God of the dead. Because when he was saying that, those three men are dead. He said, I'm not the God of the dead, I'm the God of the living. Because I'm the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In that, even though those three men are dead, I'm still their God in the life of their children. So when you say the God of Ken Demijan Lumofi, doesn't mean only me. It simply means everyone that proceeds out of me are in line with that. So God wants his grace and his power in our life to be perpetual, to continue. Of what use is you being a witness in Jerusalem, in Judea, and in Samaria, and when you are dead, what to carry die with you? God forbid. God is interested in that this thing be perpetual in your generation, either your spiritual generation or your biological generation, whichever one God has blessed you with. And it can be both. That after me, you have served your life and you have grown old and you have established as a tree, big and mighty, physically as a person may not be here, but the tree is serving as a protection for your children, for your children's children in all 
their generation. Abraham is no longer there here for many thousands of years now. But the tree that Abraham was, the tree that Abraham became before he died as a human being, that tree is still alive, shedding over Israel. And that's why when any time God looked down, he saw the seed of Abraham under the tree or the covenant he built with Abraham. He has no strength and to protect them. That's the kind of covenant I know should go one with me and you. Be an established tree in the place of prayer. Be an established tree in the place of studying the Bible. Be an established tree as a believer. Be an established tree that God knows you are there. So much that even physically when you are no longer here, your children, your wife, or your husband, your sibling, your family, we still be enjoy the protection that that tree is for generations to come. That is what God wants for us. In Genesis 9 verse 9, he said, Behold, telling Noah, I'm establishing my covenant with you and with your seed after you in all your generations. And that's what I say in joining even to today, the covenant God established with Noah. That is the purpose of God for us. And that is the mind of God for this scripture. And that's why even to now, those men that God said this, even Jesus Christ was saying this statement himself. If you have a, a, a red letter Bible, you say it's written in red. Those that Jesus Christ made this statement to, they are physically gone. But they were so mighty in God's hand, the tree they we are then is still the tree that many of us are hiding under the shade now and enjoy the blessing because we have been able to them in their generation spiritually now. We can do the same thing for our own family, our own children, our own. God will say, was telling Solomon, he said, I'm telling David, I will not forsake your children. Even when they sin against me because of you, I will use men to bring them back to myself. Yes, but then I've not, I've not removed my mercy from them, like I did to Saul and his children. God removed his mercy from Saul. Even his son Jonathan, that was so righteous, could not survive it because the father was a dry tree. There was no protection for the children. They were exposed when the man gone. It was a cost tree, not only a dry tree, a cost tree rejected by heaven. The tree could, the children couldn't find shade under his protection after he, when he was gone. May that not be me and you in the mighty name of Jesus. So much that we are so, we will not be caused in Jesus' name. That our children can't find protection on us. You are, your children is on campus or in boarding houses or they are gone to school or they are going to places and something bad want to happen. God should remember that, uh uh, see this boy now, this or this girl being covered by a sheet. And who is that sheet? The mother or the father. And for that, protect the child wherever the child may be. That will be the kind of tree we be in Jesus' mighty name. That is why it's coming from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria and to the rest of the world. Because God wants to be perpetual and continuous. Father, the mighty name of Jesus, I be an established tree for my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Under me, my children will find peace in the mighty name of Jesus. They will find protection, they will find comfort. In the mighty name of Jesus. Under me, my children will find rest. In the mighty name of Jesus. They will not be exposed. Why am I alive? They will not be exposed to the element of the enemy. enemy. Why I live my life to the full and go my way to the will of the Lord. My children will still not be exposed. In the mighty name of Jesus. They will be protected. They will be preserved. In the mighty name of Jesus. They will be protected. They will be preserved. In the mighty name of Jesus. My children be protected and preserved by the mercy and by the grace of our God in the mighty name of Jesus. I will be a living tree. I will be a living tree for my children in the mighty name of Jesus. I will be a living tree for my children in the mighty name of Jesus. I will be a living tree, a well water tree for my family in the mighty name of Jesus. My family, my children in particular, they will find shade, they will find protection under the tree I am going out to be. In the mighty name of Jesus. And that way I'm here, or when I live my life to the full and I'm gone, they will still be protected and preserved under that tree in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Let me show you a very good example in the Bible. In Daniel chapter 4, verse 10. Daniel 4, verse 10. He was talking about Nebuchadnezzar. If God can do this for a hidden king, the Bible said that Edo is an unbelieving king. The Bible declared him because is my servant. God called him as a servant to use him. Even though he failed God, but God still called him all the same. But the servant of God, the Bible said that 
Let's what God did that servant of peace in Nebuchadnezzar before he eventually eliminated him when he was not listening. Then at 4 verse 10. In verse 10, say, Thus the vision of my head in my bed, himself was seeing it. Himself was seeing how God has established him. I may not see it, but I know it is there. So he was seen in a dream in his bed. I saw and behold a tree in the midst of the head, and the head therefore was grace. I will be great on that in the mighty name of Jesus. Please understand this and uh, say to yourself too, I will be great in Jesus' mighty name. Oh. When I say great now, I don't say monetary wise. You will be great monetary wise. You will buy jets. You will buy anything you want to buy in Jesus' name. But when I say great now, I say in the spiritual realm, angels will reckon with you. In the spiritual realm, they must recognize your space. That this space, don't go there. You don't have to be a geo to be that. Don't mistake that, please. As a child of God, as a believer, you have that right in Christ Jesus. You can be an established tree. I'll be great in the mighty name of Jesus. In things pertaining to God and godliness, I'll be great in the mighty name of Jesus. And verse 11 say, verse 10 say, oh, I saw this great tree and mighty. The height was great. The tree grew. It was continuous. It was a process, but it now grew up. The tree grew and was strong, and they had their house reached into the heaven, and they sat down to the end of the earth. If God from heaven looked down and can see the tree, it was so strong, what it reached heavens. When you pray, your prayer will reach heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When you pray, God will hear you in Jesus' mighty name. In the prayer reached heaven, the tree was so mighty that even to the end of the earth, demons knew this one was there. Verse 12, they lived there was fear, was a very bright tree leaf green and the fruit thereof was mush what a blessed tree that's where money coming now i say i give you the power to make words ideas and wisdom to make words is in god's hand this tree not only was it spiritually strong physically mighty it also was established with fruits biologically income wise everything it was prospering was a prosperous man very rich in abundance in gold and silver he said, and the tree and the fruit there was much, and in it was meat for all. The Bible says, I've never I've been young and I'm old. I've never seen a righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. How will they beg bread when the father or the mother have established a mighty tree that has enough meat under it? Food, meat there means food, enough food under it. My children will not bear for bread in Jesus' mighty name. Say for yourself, my share number for bread in the mighty name of Jesus. I will be an established tree with much fruit in the mighty name of Jesus. I will be, please pray for yourself, I beg of you. I will be an established tree, a tree with much fruit in the mighty name of Jesus. And in me shall be enough food for my children and for everyone I'm in the mighty name of Jesus. My children shall never beg for bread. They shall never lack in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. And look at it, and the piece of the feet had shadow under it. Even animals on the land, people around, and the fowl of the heavens dwell in the board thereof. And all flesh, including animal and, and human being, we are fed of it. That will make me and you in Jesus' mighty name. We be so much so rich that everyone around us will feed from us because we are so blessed in Jesus' mighty name. And I saw in the vision, in the vision. Let's stop in that verse 12. Let me not read the other one. But the, it is established here that this man was made an established tree. So mighty, so fierce, so green, that enough food was on it. Enough food, food was on it. Enough people was coming there to find shadow, find rest, to find comfort, and to be fed of it. That's what God wants us to be in our family, in particular for our children. So much that they will find comfort and rest under the shadow of the tree we are becoming. And that will be true in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I will be an established tree in Jesus' mighty name. As a matter of fact, I am established tree in Jesus' mighty name. I am established tree in Christ Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. I am established tree in the mighty name of Jesus. In me and under me shall be protection for all in Jesus' mighty name. My children shall find protection in me in the mighty name of Jesus. Enough fruiting, enough food for my own, the mighty name of Jesus. 
all flesh shall be fed of me in Jesus' mighty name. By the tree I am becoming, all flesh that God has blessed me with shall be established of me in the mighty name of Jesus. The mercy of God I have received shall be perpetual in Jesus' mighty name. The blessing I have received shall be perpetual in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want to round up now. You will pray for yourself and for, for your household and for everyone you are under your care. The same covenant that God had with David. It is called the covenant of mercy, the sure mercies of David. And it is called the sure mercy of David because it, it belonged to David. But now the children are to enjoy it, including me and you. But the covenant originally belonged to who? To David. That's what is called the sure mercies of David. David doesn't produce that mercy himself. Himself needs mercy. But God called it after his, after his name so that it might be known that it actually belonged to him. And the meaning of that sure mercy of David is that God say, I will be merciful to your children in their generations. It doesn't matter what they do or what they don't do. I will be merciful to them. And if at any time angry with them, I will use the rod of men to bring them to see what happen in their life. They will know that this is God walking home and telling us, come back home, come back home. And what they see in their life and men killing them, they will come back to me because of the mercy they have received. And it's called the mercy of David. That mercy can be yours, can be mine. And not only just our mind, God, it can be perpetual in our family. So much that the children will say, hmm, I know what I'm enjoying now. It's because my mother was a believer. It's because my father was a praying father. That would be your Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I receive, I receive the sure mercy of David in the mighty name of Jesus. It is mine in the mighty name of Jesus. And for my generation forever in the mighty name of Jesus. The sure mercy of David is perpetual for me and for my generation. I will enjoy, enjoy it. My children will enjoy it. My children, children will enjoy it. In all my generations, as long as they have stand, we enjoy this sure mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. It will only end with the coming of Jesus Christ. Even to the rapture, I will enjoy the sure mercy of David in the mighty name of Jesus until the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. My children and children, children and children, 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 they will enjoy the sure mercy of David that God has covenanted with me in the mighty name of Jesus. And shall it be in Jesus' mighty name? Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I pray for you the sure mercy of David, the blessing of the heavens, the power, the strength of the Holy Spirit, that empower, that energize, that cooking the mortal body. And strengthen the spirit. That same power that will wake up Jesus Christ from the dead on the third day. I declare that same power end time to you now afresh. Amen. Cooking your mortal body. Amen. Wake up your spirit. Amen. Enlighten your soul with the light of heaven. Amen. Bible said that there be light. Every corner of your soul that is occupied with darkness. May this spirit of heaven enlighten every part now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And so much that the mercy of David the sure mercy of David and the grace of Jesus Christ will be so much mighty upon you. It will form an, a tree. Amen. The tree will grow, Amen. be established, Amen. be empowered, Amen. be full of strength and vigor and strength Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. and be full of fruits in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. be full of enough food to feed as men that come under it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And this grace of Jesus Christ, this mercy of David, shall not only be for you as an established tree, it shall be perpetually protective over your family and generation forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be, Amen. name of God the Father, Amen. name of God the Son, Amen. name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Bible says, shall see power after the Lord has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses for me, beginning from Jerusalem, to the ultimate part of the world. We simply mean beginning from me, from you, to our generation perpetually. That will be it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. We go in this strength. Amen. We go in this mind. Amen. We go with this covenant. Amen. We go with this mercy. Amen. We go with this grace. Amen. We go with this realization Amen. that we are established trees to the purpose and to the glory of God and the protective ability of our family in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will not see evil. 
Amen. You will not experience evil Amen. as of your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Your life will witness Christ. Amen. Your children will witness Christ Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. What you will do, like Nebuchadnezzar, that God will send angel from heaven to cut down the tree. What you put your hand to, like Nebuchadnezzar, that God will send washers from heaven to cut down the tree. You will not do it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you have done it, you are forgiven in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You will never go to the wrong side of God. And God will say, go and cut that, that tree. That will not be you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus Christ say, any tree that's not producing good fruit shall be cut down. That tree at a point was bringing forth good fruit. That tree at a point was having good plan. But now it's no longer bringing forth good. Some are even stagnated. And Jesus Christ say, if you are not bringing forth good fruit, I will cut you down. Don't have, not, don't have stagnated. They say, let no man eat from you again because you're not useful. For now and for every tree like that, I breathe the breath of life into you. Amen. If you are in this meeting or you will hear this audio later, I breathe the breath of life to you. Become alive again in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I begin to produce fruit Amen. to life, Amen. to godliness Amen. in their 30s, Amen. in their sixties, and in their hundred, Amen. in that progression in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I'm your generation of eight from there perpetually in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All the prayer I pray for you, they come upon me myself, for my family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And they remain upon you too in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And as long as there's day and night, the Bible says, I will wash over this world to perform it. Amen. The Spirit of God will wash over this statement I made this morning Amen. to perform them Amen. perpetually in all our generations in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Sometimes I ask it. Turn off your coin, see what that gave what I know. What we do that God will say, I don't want you again. Maybe never do it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen. Blessed be your name. Amen. In yeah. Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. I'm so glad I'm a part of this family, family of God. Oh, strong as David. Why is that so long, man? God joined here with Jesus, heaven, home, man. I'm so glad with this family, family of God. God bless your heart. Amen. God bless your spirit. Amen. And God, enc en 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 God encourage, empower your mind and your heart with peace that pass from understanding. Through Christ Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In our home, may we experience peace and joy in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I say it again, God will make an established tree Amen. to the glory of your name, of his name in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And a tree that will not be cut off, Amen. cut down, or go barren in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The, as long as the spirit of Christ lives in us, Amen. it will perpetually be a blessing Amen. to our generations in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Thank you for part of this meeting, these four days. God bless you. If you miss any of those days, please go and listen again and prayerfully go through them. And if you have the time again, even if you are there in the meeting, you can go over them. They are wonderful time before God. God bless our family. Once again, to thank you for all this support and for the work you are doing here. God bless you mentally in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't be tired until the work is done. You see, have a song. We are just midway now. You see, have another half to go. Don't be tired. And God will strengthen you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Keep praying for us and keep sustaining us in your prayer. As long as God gives us the grace, it will be a blessing to the world. All of us together in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And our tree shall not go dry in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When Jesus will come to look at us, he will find fruit on us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If Nebuchadnezzar can have fruit, I will have fruit. Amen. Because I have a better covenant than him. My covenant is the covenant of grace in Jesus Christ. And that's the same thing for you too. You will have fruit in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You will not be barren in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Shall it be in God's name? Amen. And God bless you and keep you. Amen. And God show his praise upon you, his light upon you, his peace upon you, his face upon you, and give you peace. Amen. And when God puts light, the entire light of heaven, upon your soul, enlighten your spirit, enlighten your mind, enlighten your heart in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. and give you rest of mind. And be gracious to you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And may Lord put his mark upon your body, soul, and spirit. And the same for everyone that belongs to you. For protection, for mercy, for joy, for compassion, for righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And may grace of God upon your life perpetual in Jesus' mighty name. 
May God put his name upon us and our children and bless us in Jesus' mighty name. Let it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. And because of the year of the Holy Spirit, I will share the will be with you later. What we have, all we have beginning our program, so you can keep it yourself and be praying for us and support us wherever you may be. You can in Jesus' name. Amen. It's a year of the Holy Spirit. What do we say? Hallelujah for the Lord God, omnipotent raiment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Meeting so well.